Good day to you all. Today's topic is all about uh, chat school resources or Bible resources that you can use for family Bible study or when being used in the children's ministry within the chat setup. So before me are activities and I give due diligence, due credit to those who have produced it. I do not sell them, therefore I'm not making money out of this. It's just activities that I have used or intend to use both at home uh, in case in point this I believe will go to my nephews so they will have it on their wall or where they choose to have it uh, and still it can be used within the Sunday school setup uh, for the teachers and the main thing that I have learned from the previous retreats as a Sunday school teacher and also interacting with other teachers is that preparation preparation is key so this needs to you need to know your lesson in advance both even as a parent or as a Sunday school teacher and then you print out and I said this is not my work I'm giving due diligence and due credit to those who have done it uh, so you have it this way you can frame it up you can stick it up you can just or just have it this way or place it on something firm a, a firm uh, embossed paper and then you can cut around it and if if possible when possible and most preferably you can laminate which i believe i intend to do so that this can be more durable so you'll have it in this form or as i said you can have them in this and then you can stick them or use them during the the class activity if this is your lesson so that is one where you have the visuals and i love the handwriting the especially the, the calligraphy so you don't have to be hard pressed in writing them uh, so that's the Ten Commandments. Um, another way to get the children to know about the Ten Commandments is have them in strips. So this is the printed copy. Uh, so you have them in strips and then you stick them still on whichever kind of paper. You can laminate before and then and then what uh, and then uh, cut them into strips or just have them this way and keep them nice and tidy so you have the different uh the different uh the 10 commandments in strips the challenge can be uh in the class especially for the upper primary children but even i, I believe from class four yeah which i think is upper primary unless things have changed they can arrange according to how they are so from the first commandment all the way to the 10th so you can, as the children come in, you can either give them one by one or you can give them as a group activity. So you can split either five, five, or each of them has 10 at the 10 commandments. And then you give them a timer and they're supposed to arrange them in order. And then we, especially for the upper classes for class six or the way up five, six, seven, where the, the competitive spirit is really, um, it's really part of who they are. So you can cut them in strips. And you can have it as a game, as a way to, to just have fun within uh, the child school setup. Or even as a parent or a guardian, you can help a child learn more about the Ten Commandments. So they can even pick it and then say whether it's